Hi, this video deals with the simulation training for the rhomboid flap that is the classic Limburg flap. A defect ABCD has been created which is rhomboid in shape. When we say rhomboid flap, it refers to the flap covering a rhomboid defect and it does not mean that the shape of the flap is rhomboid. Here, the angle is equal to 120 degrees. If it is more than 120 degrees, a rhomboid flap or the Limburg flap cannot be planned. We need to do a deformental flap which is dealt with in another video. Now, a distance equal to the short diagonal. Here, it is BD. The distance is extended and the distance equal to the line BD is marked. This line DE represents the advancing edge of the flap. Now, a line is drawn parallel to the line CD from the point E. This line EF will be parallel to the side of the flap adjacent to the defect. This line EF will be equal in length to the side CD. Now the defect is created by cutting along the marked line ABCD. The flap CDEF is now incised. We need to remember that F, the point F represents the pivot point of the flap and the line of maximum tension will be along the line FA as we shall soon be seeing. The flap is incised. Here the foam is incised. This incision usually goes down to the subcutaneous tissue. Here we have kept a pink background, a thinner layer of foam underneath to show that the appropriate level has been reached. Now the flap has been raised up to the pivot point F. Now this flap must be transposed. When we are transposing this flap, the important thing is to make sure that the incision goes right down to the pivot point. Now this is how it will be sutured. Here the rhomboid flap is a modified transposition flap where the donor site is closed primarily as opposed to the regular transposition flap where the donor site is closed with a skin graft. Here the suturing is done first to the leading edge. The point A is sometimes known as the promontory of the defect. It represents the maximum length the flap has to reach. Now the suturing is done. The leading edge of the flap is first sutured. After suturing the leading edge of the flap, the donor site must be closed. This can be done by making use of the laxity of the tissues. That is why selecting the site from which the flap is harvested is very important. Undermining the tissues on the sides will help in mobilization of the skin to allow primary closure of the defect following raising of the Limburg flap. I hope you enjoyed the video. For the general classification of flaps and the introduction to local flaps, click on this video. Do not forget to subscribe to keep connected with the latest in learning hand surgery.